Welcome to the Xenoverse 2 tips and tricks video that I should have done a long time ago, and by that I mean about a year and a half ago. This game has been out for a while, and people are still looking for help, so I might as well just offer my help. But yeah, this is not really for advanced players, because advanced players would already know this stuff, so don't worry, rest your pretty head. I mean, you can still watch, I'd rather you watch, because that's cool, you know, the fact that, hey, you know, you'd rather watch something that you already know about, that'd be awesome, but yeah, let me get into the list. Well, number one is make sure you face your opponent. That is a serious thing that people online just struggle with, all new people online. Like, you know, they'll be moving around, you know, step vanish or whatever, and then they'll just like step vanish square away from the opponent. Like, that first one is what I meant. Not the second one. The second one was fine. But yeah, like, if you're not facing your opponent, chances are your attacks are not going to face them either, which, well, let me get about right here. Oh, hold up. Okay. So I can't I don't even know how to accidentally do this anymore. But you know, there'll be times where I'll just see somebody like completely attack the other way. And if you need to fix wherever you're you're facing, the best way to do that is just with a little step dash. So like let's say I'm just like oh way over here and I just need to face my enemy. I'm just gonna step either to the side or forward. If you step backward, that's not really gonna fix things, but for some reason I can't <laughs> I don't know how to lock off well, hmm. you'll understand what I mean if you if you're that kind of person, okay? Number two is keep moving, and what I mean by that is just even though you're not doing anything, you should always be moving. If you're close to some, if you're really close to somebody, you should either be one attacking or two deciding on whether or not you want to defend by either you know using the iframes and step dashes, which by the way you get a lot of those, or blocking. I mean, if you're really close, you just expect to get hit. There's no way you can just completely react to somebody doing this. <laughs> so yeah, you got to make sure you have a plan when you're up close, but for the most part, just keep moving no matter what. You know, it's always hard to hit a hit a hit a moving target. Sorry, I almost had a sitting still target. But yeah, there there are a lot of people that complain about me key stunning, which you know is shooting a key blast before you come in to guarantee your hit. But that's what I do to people that stand still because I mean, if you're standing still and I need to go over to you, I mean that <laughs> that's not good. You know, I need to make sure you can't perfect block my my actual character. You know, a key blast would be totally fine. That way I could just guard and keep keep the pressure on or. If somebody is attacking the air, I could just shoot a key blast because that stops them. I mean, the only people that really have a problem with it, in my in my opinion, are just people that get hit by them a lot, which they they tend to not move well. So yeah, well, if you have, if you feel if you feel like you're one of the people that get hit by it, but you move well and it just annoys you, I'm sorry, but <laughs> yeah. A anyway, moving on. Number three is back hits have. Oh, there are eight of these, by the way. Number three is back hits have invincibility frames, so you gotta either move away from them with a step dash. Don't casually move away. This this doesn't work. Or you block them. I mean, don't hold your block because if you hold your block, you get broken out of it. You know, the best way to show that they have invincibility frames is to probably. I think I hope I have a fast move. Let me see. Not a fast, but a slow move. Let me try super attack one. Um, or I could just check. Okay, so super attack one should be sledge. That's death meme. That is death meme. That is not sledgehammer. Oh, okay, I don't even know if I can. Okay, whoops. All right, all right. Don't worry, we got this. I'm gonna make sure I back hit as soon as he does this. Ah, you see, that's not a good. That okay, okay. Next move, maybe sledgehammer. That's not sledgehammer. Super attack two could be sledge. There we go. That's actually really slow. That's good. I can show the iframes if I do this right. You see that? How he just did a like a f not a fully charged sledgehammer, but he did a sledgehammer. He was not able to actually hit me. And that, that's really really good, you know. But that also shows that if you try to challenge a back hit, you're probably gonna get hit. <laughs> Don't challenge back hits. Just either move or block them. Don't ever try to wow turn around. Don't ever try to actually challenge them oh another thing that I didn't talk about with movement is if you ever end up behind somebody like this don't ever just move your stick towards them because that'll make you do that stupid turnaround thing I mean you, you probably don't think it's stupid because you don't know anything about it but this that animation is like the worst thing to happen to people that move around a lot reason why is because you can't if your character is doing this little turnaround thing they can't do anything else you can't block anything and it's just really bad so make sure to stop that you don't ever move the left stick directly at your opponent if you're not facing them. You want to move it to things like the side or away from them. Because if you stop moving completely and then start moving again, you'll automatically face your opponent. So you gotta make sure one of those ways is not directly to them. That'll really mess you up. Especially since 
you just you're completely defenseless right there of course you don't ever want to do that anyway um so yeah back to the back hits thing you don't always want to back hit though because you know if you always dang oh well if you always back hit people are of course gonna predict that and you know they're gonna either block you or not block you on playstation i mean they probably will if they're salty but i mean like they'll actually block your attack or they're gonna just you know shoot you with that key blast right as, right as the attack comes out because after the attack comes out you're completely vulnerable you gotta make sure you don't you don't make yourself vulnerable like that let's see number five is try not to charge you know if you if you use something like maximum charge right before a fight starts of course that's cool with friends but you know let's say you're just doing ranked and you just start charging the other person's <laughs> not gonna let you charge this is not how things work especially since you can gain key really quickly i could show that actually stop hitting the air cooler hold up okay normal and drain all my key uh no series bomb i have nine bars of key wow that, that's a good amount anyway it, it's really easy to gain your stamina i not stamina key and you see like one full combo can really give you about a bar of key i don't know what my super soul does I'm guessing it kind of helped with that. Also, things like Step Vanishing gives you some key. I mean, you're not completely helpless without maximum charge. You're just going to feel that way because you're used to using it. Yeah. But like, after one combo, you have enough to do a Super Saiyan. You just a power impact if you want or something like that. I'm going to restart before it makes my character glow. I don't like that glow. Yeah, try try to try not to charge. And in, in places where you would put charge, like, I would put charge on X, you know, for for all my supers but if i don't have charge you know i only really use charge offline if i don't have charge i'm gonna put things like after image or things like that things to help me get out of the way of attacks when i normally couldn't because sometimes you know you just can't move so you have to use it it's not cheap just just <laughs> don't don't be one of those people that complain unless it's backflip backflip's kind of cancer but that's that's opinion i guess i think it's kind of cancer uh let's see Number six, utilize key cancels and square triangle, even though some people will just get really butthurt and be like, stop, stop square triangling, which, you know, hold on, let me actually put the opponents at guard, that way I can just repeatedly do this. See, people get really mad at people doing this, and that's totally fine, I mean, if you just repeatedly do this, that that is kind of just, why are you doing this? But, um, I'm not talking about in that sense, I'm, I'm saying just... Now, utilize, don't abuse it, of course, because then that makes you depend on things like, you know, making sure you can always square triangle, but any kind of cancel, as you see, not just square triangle, but all, all kinds of cancel. You got to make sure you use them all to improve your movement and make sure if somebody vanishes and you don't want to back it, you can also move. You see, if cooler, let me see if I can make cooler vanish. I think you can do that. Let's see. Z vanish. Okay. So if I were to hit cooler... See how I'm able to just move quickly without actually having to resort to a back hit? Now, of course, a, a wow, of course, a back hit's nice when you actually know that they're gonna vanish, but you don't always want to do that one. And see, with square triangle, that that's not punishable. I mean, you could just make sure. Well, one, if somebody decides to vanish that early, you there you go, you've burned two bars of your stamina. Two. I don't remember. Let's go to the next one. Try not to vanish quickly. That's the seventh out of eighth thing on the list let me put this back yeah. number seven is try not to vanish quickly if you decide to vanish every time you're touched that's of course terrible but you got to make sure you don't take obvious things in combos like they even say this in elder, elder kai training the ending parts of combos hurt the worst as you see like <laughs> you saw from what the uh what that bar did like you basically did the equivalent of all the all the before hits with that single hit in that combo with the Saiyan 5 square. So, you gotta make sure if you vanish, you vanish off of things that are obvious to vanish off of, like, let me see if I can make him Z vanish by doing this. Hold up. Right here. Okay, so he didn't vanish. That was really dumb. Let me see. Let me just... There we go. So, yeah. You gotta make sure you know what to and what not to vanish that way you take some damage but not the absolute most you know you don't want to vanish immediately then get back hit and all of a sudden you're back in a combo with two bars of stamina gone instead of uh instead of none i guess i was about to say four bars instead of two but that's like talking about evasives i'm not going to talk about that right now yeah make sure you are smart with your vanishes and all of that now I can't tell you exactly when to vanish for everybody because everyone works differently and sometimes people throw out either random back hits or sometimes they can just predict you a lot better than others so you gotta make sure 
you one, know the person you're fighting, and two, know what things you really shouldn't take in a combo. And now the last one is just find out what works for you. I mean, not every move in this game you're going to like, of course. And a lot of people will say to use certain moves, you know, that's what we call meta if people just collectively decide some move is better than others and then everybody starts using it for that. I mean, that's not bad that there's meta in games. It's just, it just happens. It just depends on whether or not you're actually... Let me put the key back to normal before I forget. It just depends on whether or not it actually falls with how you want to play. So, the only so-called meta, so meta move that I would say is that I have right now is Dildon Ray just because uh, this is a really good move. It's legit just a key stun that you use key for and it's arguably better than a regular key stun. But, you know, not everybody is going to want to use that move, of course, because it doesn't fit what everybody likes to do. I mean, if you like to just make sure your opponent doesn't drop out of your combo, of course, you know, I would say use Dildon Ray, but some people wouldn't want to use that. Some people resent the move either morally or because it just doesn't really work with what they do. And there are some good people that don't even touch Dota on Ray, so it really just depends on what you want. That that's really it, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, I mean, not many people just use a regular Super Kamehameha, but I do that. because Well, mostly because you can just square a triangle and a Super Kamehameha. I don't know if this works offline. It does work offline. Wow. Okay. But yeah, just there are certain things that you can do with certain moves, blah, blah, blah. That's what I'm just trying to say. Find out what works for you first and foremost, really. I probably should have put that first on the list, but... Yeah, you'll be fine. And just anything that you want to use, go ahead and use it. Simple as that. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.